Welcome back to the Data Analyst. Today we are diving into one of the most important tests in time series analysis, the ADF test, also known as Augmented Dickey Fuller test. If you are analyzing time series data, you must understand this test. Let's get started. The ADF test or Augmented Dickey Fuller test is a statistical test used to check if a time series is stationary. Stationary means the statistic properties like mean, variance, and autocorrelation do not change over time. If your data is non-stationary, it could lead to misleading regression results and poor forecasting. The ADF test help us decide whether to difference a time series before building model like ARIMA. If the series is non-stationary, we can't use most time series model without transformation. So the ADF test act as the first checkpoint in your time series workflow. Let's see what are the assumptions of the ADF test. Before using the ADF test, keep in mind its assumptions. The data should be a time series, ordered and equally spaced. No major structural break in the series. The residual of the test equation should be white noise. Hypothesis of the ADF test. Null hypothesis. The series has a unit root, that means it is non-stationary. Alternative hypothesis. The series does not have a unit root. That means it is stationary. If the p-value is less than your significant level like 0.05, you reject the null hypothesis. Limitations of the ADF test. Like any test, the ADF test has its limitations. Low power, it may not detect stationarity in short time series. Sensitive to model specification, number of lags can affect the results. Doesn't handle structural breaks. Sudden jump in data can mislead the test. So always visualize your data first and consider combining the ADF test with other tests like KPSS. Let's see how to perform ADF test using SAS. So first we have to input our time series data. So this is our first step data, uh, sales data, labeling our data set. So in here I label my data set as sales data. Then we have to put our variables like this and then these are the data lines. So in data lines, the first column is about month and year and the second column related to sales value, then run. So our second step is sort the data by date. So proc sort data equal, this is our data set name, sales data by month. We sort, sorted our data by month, then run. And the third step is perform the ADF test using proc arima. So proc arima, again, our data equals sales data, then identify variable is sales, stationarity equal ADF1, then run. Let's run our data set. Okay, uh, this is the output results we got. Uh, augmented decay fuller unit root test and the graphs, trend and correlation analysis for cells. Let's interpret our output results. The augmented decay fuller test results are presented for three models. Zero mean, assume no constant or trend in the series. Single mean, include a constant, intercept, but no trend. Trend include both a constant and a linear trend. In here, the key statistic to look at is tau and its p-value. So our null hypothesis is the series has a unit unit, non-stationary. Alternative hypothesis is the series is stationary. If the p-value is less than 0.05, you reject null hypothesis. That means the series is stationary. If p-value is greater than 0.05, you fail to reject H0. That means the series is non-stationary. In here, all p-values are greater than 0.05. Therefore, we fail to reject our null hypothesis for all cases. So the cell series is non-stationary. It likely has a trend or unit root. The trend and correlation analysis plot for the cell series clearly indicates non-stationarity. The top left plot shows a strong upward trend over time confirming a non-constant mean. The ACF autocorrelation function displays slow decay, a classic sign of a non-stationary series as the correlations remain high across multiple legs. 
the partial autocorrelation function shows a significant spike at lag 1, then drop off, which may suggest an autoregressive process if the series is differenced. The inverse autocorrelation function also confirms persistent autocorrelation. Together with the earlier ADF test results, this plot strongly suggests that the cell's data need to be differenced to achieve stationarity before any reliable time series modeling.